Hi YouTube, it's Ashley. Thank you so much for watching and we're on my bed today. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get as much light as possible and I don't think it's going to work because it's super cloudy today. The weatherman lied people. Okay, he said we were going to have sun and I feel like you see it. I'm so firing him. Anyway, today we are hauling. I got a couple things from Ulta and so and little little that that place. You know what I'm talking about. Sephora. So I put everything in this Sephora bag because the Ulta bags are super crinkly and annoying. So we're going to get right into it. The first thing I don't have to show you is in my shower because it's on my Clarisonic. I got a new brush head at Ulta. And I had a 20% off the perk of having a card or whatever. So I said I'm going to use my 20% off for that. And I got the one for sensitive skin. So yeah, I used it last night and I really like it a lot more than the original one so far. So Okay, I'll keep you guys in the loop to let you know how I like that. And so the rest of everything that I got was like stuff that I didn't need, but just stuff that I wanted. I'm like, I have a coupon, so there you go. I got the Anastasia Catwalk palette. I've been eyeing this for months now, and it looks like this. It's really, really pretty leopard print, and it's like felt, which is super cute. Just like this inside. I am wearing this palette on my eyes today and I really don't know what the see this is what bothers me. You don't know what the names are until you look at the back of the package. You know what I got time for that. I'm gonna throw that out probably. And it also comes with a dual ended brush. I really like it. The pigmentation is gorge and it blended really well. So yeah, I like that a lot. Next was um, I finally got the real techniques sponge to try out. Mine is dirty because I used her today. I really, really like this. Is a so nice. This is like the Beauty Blender. This is the cousin of the Beauty Blender. It's so nice. It was only $5.99. You can't beat it. So easy to use. I only use this to like help blend out concealer. I don't use it all over my face for foundation. But it's really nice. I like it. It's totally worth it. I recommend it. Real technique, so you can't go wrong. Their brushes are freaking phenomenal. And then I got three things from NYX. I got a powder blush in the color Cinnamon. And yes, yeah, it is as red as it looks, and it is awesome. I can't wait to use this. I swatched it. It is like the perfect spring cheek flush. I'm pants on using that. And then I got two more butter. Oh my god! Do you hear that? Oh my god! I just got really scared. I don't know what that noise was. I think it's people outside. Oh my god. Anyway, that was scary. Um, I I needed these, like I needed a hole in the head. I have so many of these already, but I love them. The pigmentation's so good, they smell nice and they wear forever. I got the shades Peach Cobbler and Cherry Cheesecake. They are swatched. This is Peach Cobbler and that's Cherry Cheesecake. You'd think that the red one would be the Cherry Cheesecake and this would be Peach Cobbler, but you know Nick. You crazy cats trying to switch it up. <laughs> And then I got a Zoya Pixie Dust Glittery Nail Polish in the shade Carter. It was so beautiful. And it was on clearance for $4.99. Could not pass this bad boy up. Next, moving on to Sephora. Um, I went into Sephora because I have been searching high and low for the Urban Decay new Naked Lip Glosses, I think they're called. Yeah. And they only had four shades at my local Sephora, although my local Sephora is in a JCPenney. I didn't want to drive all the way to the mall to get one. But I got the shade Love Child, and I pre-splashed everything because that was smart. And that color is right there. Absolutely beautiful. So pigmented. And it doesn't have an offensive smell. They don't seem very sticky, so I'm really excited about that. The other three shades they had were, like, more on the nude side. And so I figured I would just skip out on those, try this one, and see how I like it. So, yeah. And then I decided to be a bad girl and get the NARS Lip Lacquer in Chelsea Girls because I've been wanting this for so long and I've swatched it every time I'm at work and in Nordstrom and um, <clears throat> there's a NARS there at the NARS counter. I go over and then I swatch this and it's just like, oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> so I finally caved in and spent the money and got it. It's just so beautiful. It's like literally the most perfect nudie pink can't wait to be rocking this soon. Um, I did not swatch it. Sorry, guys. And then I got a lip tar, my very first one, and it is in the shade Electric Grandma, and it is, like, as orange as my nails. It is so freaking awesome. And the swatch is 
down here. Um, a little dabble day with these. That's what the girl before said, and she was not kidding. I barely put a dot, and I had to make two lines. It is so pigmented, but that's a great sign. I love that. And then, you know, an impulse buy, of course. <laughs> I got. I decided to get the Josie Moran Escape to Morocco kit. It's got the the oil, the light argan oil, the aluminizer, a color stick and spice, and sorry about that, guys, and a lip gloss. So, yeah, I'm going to be excited to try this out, and I'll let you know how I like it. I'm going to wrap this up. That is it for my haul. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll be back with my January favorites very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.